Hey everyone, it's Raj from 3CB. The terms agility and change of direction often get used interchangeably. However, they're not quite the same. Change of direction itself applies to the physical component of actually changing speeds and changing directions, which is related to, of course, technique, anthropomorphic and body composition, related to the level of speed or velocity, and then of course, the muscles themselves when it comes to eccentric and concentric and how that relates to the biomechanics of changing force. However, agility is one level above. Of course, it involves those physical aspects of change direction and change of speed, but it also involves the mental component of having to make decisions and that perceive process at chain, where you have to first decipher and read what's going on around you, anticipate, and then you have to process those things and then you have to act and make the right decisions as well. That key difference is reflected in the different types of training for each of these qualities. So if you wanna just train in a direction, let's say you're working on technique, for example, what you can do is a commonly used test is the T-test where the player runs forward, they run to the left, they run all the way back to the right, they run back to the middle, and they run back. That's a pre-planned static test that's really focusing on that chain of direction. Now, if you wanna start really training in agility, you have to add some spontaneous decision-making component. Something I like to do is, again, using a T-test kind of as the foundation, that player runs straight ahead and then I'll point in the direction to make them, force them to react. And then they'll run that way, come back to the middle, and then I'll try to, we'll play some, let's say, you know, two-hand touch where they have to first read my body cues and then evade me. I like to use myself as much as possible because that player then begins to understand what cues to look for from a human, which is then translated into the same cues they're looking for versus defenders or attackers. All in all, in general, chain of direction is a pre-planned, more static physical element, whereas agility is a spontaneous element that involves of course the physical, but also far more of that mental and decision-making component as well.